Good morning. It's Friday morning. It's about 7.20 in the morning, raining. Uh, today I'm going to try something new and adventurous. Is I'm going to see if I can get myself from Wexford Town to Waterford City by an old-fashioned method called hitchhiking. Stay with me and see if I get collected for one and who is it that collects a person standing beside the road with a sign up saying going to Waterford. I'm going to go to Waterford, walk around the city, show you some of the uh, sites. Waterford is considered the oldest city in Ireland. It was founded by the Vikings in the early 800s. I'll put it up there the exact date. Okay, so I've been walking for about 15 minutes. I didn't want to start hitchhiking until I got to the, uh, the N25, which heads towards Waterford. So I'm just passing the Maldron here. And you can see the sign for Waterford, Port Larga, after the roundabout. So I'm gonna to walk to the other side of the roundabout. And there should be a sign saying how many kilometers left to Waterford. And that's where I'll probably post up and hope I catch somebody heading on their way to work or someone going into the direction of Waterford for the day. So back with you in a few minutes. Okay, so, so far, not so lucky. I've seen a couple of buses going down, a lottery. Now the traffic's moving really fast here. Um, even if somebody wanted to stop, I, I think it would be hard for them. So what I'm gonna do is walk up a little bit further to the junction in Barrentown where it slows down to 60. I think it might have a better chance there. So I found a, a good spot here. We're just before the church, Barrentown Church, and there's a, a lay-in way so that cars can pull in and it's also in the 60 kilometers zone so hopefully here. at least they're there's a they're not going as fast uh, it's a little after eight o'clock so i've been walking about from my house to here probably about eight kilometers so far there's a bit it's about 60 more kilometers till you get to waterford city See if we get lucky at all. So far, no. Maybe they're all, not all going to Waterford. They're all going to Ross or something like that. So, and with Ross, with the bypass now going to Waterford, um, going to Ross wouldn't really help. Now, if we made it to Ross, then maybe I would see about taking the bus from Ross to the Waterford. You know, because. Chances are people in Ross wouldn't be going to Waterford as often or that was it. But here, it's still early days. I still have faith in the Irish people. Maybe it's misguided, but we'll see. See after these cars if I get any luck. Here we go. No luck so far. I'm gonna turn it off for a bit. Looks like it might get lucky. There's pulled up. Oh. How's it going? Yeah, going to Ross. Uh, I'm just going to uh, Waterford. I'm going close to Waterford. That's fine. Yeah. There's a, there's a oh. roundabout out there that has like a yeah. thing that's car for service that the only garage so Oh, perfect. Do you mind if I uh, vlog? I'm doing a YouTube. No, no, no. <laughs> I was... I wanted to go do Waterford today, so... I said, uh, a chance place I would see. I, see if anyone would pick me up going to Waterford hitchhiking. Like, people thought it worked, thought I was mad. <laughs> but I said, uh, I have faith, I know. I, someone will pick you up. Yeah, well, it's an interesting way of getting around, though. Is there, love? Um, no, I left my house. I live by the race course. Yeah. And I left around 7.20. Now it's hard guys, to try to find a place where you could... Well, that's well, like, yeah, it's, I pulled it's in there and I was like, oh, the, there's trucks yeah. on it. Yeah, but the trucks are the ones that bounced and I heard you. That's what I figured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like I said, I have faith in the Irish people that come through, so... I'll just enjoy the ride and I'll turn it back on when I get closer to Waterford. 
Alrighty, so we just arrived in the uh, Waterford. It's a Hyundai garage. He was bringing his car in for service. The gentleman who was, like I said, restored my faith in the Irish people. I told you somebody would collect me, and it wasn't too bad. So it's uh, it's like five minutes to nine in Waterford. I'm just on the outside. I'm going to walk into the town. It's um, it's about 3.7 kilometers to get into the city center, which is just not too bad. Like I was expecting similar to that. Um, and we'll see, maybe stop along the way and get a coffee. I think there's a few restaurants um, in the head there. So we'll just walk in and when I get closer, I'll turn it back on. Hi again, just wanted to tell you. So had a very, very enjoyable ride with the, your man. He was originally from Dublin, living in Wexford enough to stop pick me up so I appreciate that we had good conversation and you know getting into double so I left the house it was like 7 15 this morning walked to Barrentown wasn't there long I guess about a half hour it took to get collected and I'm in uh, Waterford City uh, it was before nine o'clock so that's very good timing There's a nice mural as you're walking in on the Cork Road, past the Waterford Institute of Technology. There's the other mural, I don't know if you can see it, maybe I'll walk up to it a little bit. They're very well done. Yeah, very nice. So, inside, having a coffee, stopped by the first restaurant, which happens to be McDonald's. So I had myself a... Uh, uh, muffin with uh, jam and a hash brown and an Americano coffee. So right now it's still wet and raining outside. So I'm just gonna enjoy the coffee, get warmed up a bit, and then I'll head towards the uh, city center. Okay, so I had a coffee, went to the bathroom, got all sorted. It's uh, about 20 after 10 in the morning. And I'm just on the last stretch walking in towards the center of the city in Waterford City. I just wanted to stop and show you this little grotto. Like I said, it's a very common occurrence in Ireland. It's a walled city too. You can see there's remnants of a, an old wall. Uh, and the wall goes up there. And you see a couple of square ones and then a round one at the top. Wall, so the wall surrounds everywhere. You see it. There's a church coming up. A couple of them actually. You see a couple of the peaks, the spirals of the uh, church. Going up to a nightclub. Club B. This part is the, uh, the college part. Now we pass the uh, Waterford Institute of Technology just up ahead there. So you can see, look, there's a lot of bars and uh, quick fast food restaurants. Hillbillies, it's a chicken place, Istanbul, the kebabs. So what we'll do is we keep walking up towards the key first and then we'll come back up around and we'll explore this place better. Ladbrokes Bookies, Espresso, it's a restaurant I'd say. Vape shop. Vapes are all over the place. I don't know if they're good or yeah. A little skeptical on those. There's no history or research of the prolonged effect of it so People say it's better than smoking. I think both will be uh, managed. There's a nice old church there. St. John's Mass Towns. Yeats College. Nails and Spa. It's not very windy. The rain's not too bad. Like, I'm not getting wet. Um, if it stays like this, will be okay. Hopefully the, uh, 
the wind reducers are working and you're not hearing too much of the wind. There's a nice little one in there. It seems to be vacant. Probably connected with the church. Yeah, definitely looks vacant. Uh, Catholics Young Men's Society, it says. St. Joseph's School. Central Technology Institute, 1906. There's a mural up ahead on the wall. It's pretty freaky. Let's see if we can get a little closer to it. Public buses and that on this road, and traffic. It's a main road, like I said, it's the Cork Road, so it goes out. So if you're heading from Waterford, heading out towards the west of Ireland, this is the road you'd be on. Big old buildings there. Big Georgian buildings. Yeah, there's the, uh, the mural. If you can see a good picture of it with the uh, GoPro. On the side of the wall, it's interesting. There's the mural on the front of the building. It's nice too, it's very nice. St. Catherine Street. International Language School. Water for credit unions. Credit unions are very good in, in Ireland. Everyone's a member. Now we'll wait. Cross over. Jeez, that was quick. I went to touch it. It went from green to black, uh, red. I pressed the button and went back to green. People in the cars aren't too happy. But there's a nice old building. Looking at the church here and then the sort of architecture here. And then it has the, uh, the bronze version of the proclamation. And this is the, uh, the museum that you can come to. I won't be actually going into the museums and that today. I'll show you where they are, but I want to show you. So this is masterpiece in glass. So this is to do with uh, the water for crystal experience, I'd say. Okay. And here you have the Theater Royale. See if we can get a little closer. Let's go up and see it. It's water for crystal stuff. Now they're no longer producing it here. It's bought up by an American company. There's a lot of problems with how people. Okay, it's a composer. Vincent Wallace. Born in Waterford 1812, died in the Pyrenees in 1865. Pretty good. So that bronze was to do with the, the, uh, the theater. Now, remember we showed you on the uh, Wexford, anyone that didn't see the Wexford tour, uh, we have the, uh, the Opera House, the National Opera House. And we have an opera festival that runs, I think it's 10 to 14 days every October. So that'll be coming up so shortly. And people come from all over the world for that. It's a really big event for Wexford. Please make sure that if you're watching this to uh, remember to subscribe. It really helps my channel to grow. And don't forget to hit the uh, like button and then comments if you have any places you want me to go see. So, Union Bar. Brooks Irish Gifts. Looks like Brooks is closed. Grab and go. And then the Tower Hotel. That's an old hotel. It's in the corner. And then here we have the statue, one of the main statues. I had planned to show you off one of them, so we'll get close to that. And then 
closer to it. So Thomas Francis Eager. And here, look at this. Look at that statue. You have the uh, head of, uh, looks like a wolf, and the shaft of a sword, and a shield. It's a Viking Triangle. Reginald's Tower. So we'll go walk around the Reginald's Tower. I wonder if you can get inside. See it. Said to be built in uh, the 12th century. 1170. Original tower. It's open from 9:30 to 5:30. It's five euros for adults. Senior citizens are four. Children are three, and a family of 13. And you have an old Viking. Ship, boat, really. See that? This is what it looks inside. Geez, it wouldn't be great traveling across the ocean with one of those, eh? Hard work, I'd say. Reginald, the founder of Viking Wexford, 914. So put your face in there. Let's see how it works. Let's make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so that was the. Uh, Reginald Tower, so it's right on the quay, right beside the Tower Hotel. So you get to it there, like I said, you go inside it. Cross Field Fiver to get in. Cross over, we're going to go see the uh, statue of Thomas Francis Mingo. Thomas was an Irish nationalist and American Civil War hero from 1823 to 1867. He's Waterford-born, and he came to Providence and they have all the Daniel O'Connell's movement. And there's a better view of the uh, original tower. It's right beside the restaurant called The Ridge. And we'll cross over here. We'll go along the key. You can see all the, the marina and uh, the boats in the harbor here. Big ferry out there. Try to get across over there. Okay, keep it safe. There's a lot of sculptures on the uh, key. Trying to get in there and go look around, see what it says. There's another pub. Very old, romantic looking. Jordan's Bar. It's closed up right now. There's another restaurant, McLeary's. I want to go see what that is there. Get up there and there's another mural. Here's, we're going to be able to cross over here. There's a charity shop for the Irish Cancer Society. My partner Emily loves charity shops. She's addicted to them. Them and pennies. Don't know what it is with pennies. Take a look at what this is here. Alrighty. So 
So it looks like they're supposed to be shields of some sort. And then there's seats around with lights on the floor. So at nighttime it would really look spectacular. And then there's seats there. They look like the fins up the upside of a sailing ship. And then the big sculpture with lights. I'd say this looks really nice at night. So you could sit here and chill, have a coffee, especially in the nice weather. Today is not a great day for it, but it's a good day to walk around and explore the city. Sculpture of a ship in the middle of the roundabout. So there's nice old character buildings around. You know, when the weather's nicer, you can take your time and enjoy them all. But that's what I'm doing for you. So you can visit Waterford without actually having to come here. And when you do come here, you have an idea of some sights to see, and places to go, things to do. So let me by. Thank you. Thank you. There's a church up there, I can see. Ulster Bank. Like I said before, they're leaving Ireland, so we'll be shutting down. warm though you know despite it being a little wet and windy it's, the temperature is actually pleasant so, the ships the boats all along the, the harbor and the quay and this is the uh, clock tower car park so we're coming up to the clock tower you'll see it shortly and then we'll cross over and we'll go into the city. <clears throat> right now it's getting a little wet on my glasses. I'll have to clean them eventually because it's sort of misty. I'm trying to keep the lens of the, can of the GoPro clean while I'm doing it so hopefully the wind will s slow down a bit and the weather will get better. Uh, like I said, early afternoon it's supposed to stop so Anyways, we'll keep plugging away, trying to bring you content of things to do in Ireland. A little construction going on, so but they've created a nice walkway so you can get around it. shelters oh, may I be building it's supposed to I guess it makes it look old but I don't know if it's really that old Other plants are also handy to have there's the old clock tower You had the fountain there. Went up to the clock. Right See the clocks on all four sides. And there's the fountain there too. And now we're pressing to Baron, Baron Strand Street. Morgan's Pharmacy. Fitzgerald's. There's a Fitzgerald's in Wild Wexford. There's a nice big old church. I think it's a church. special place for a lot of people. Pennies. No, just joking. I hate pennies. I just... something about it. 
but look at the tree with character. He's uh, watching all the people go into pennies. It's big brother watching. See? That's pretty interesting. And then you have like a, it's like a square here. So you have McDonald's there, Costa Coffee. So there's a kiosk for coffee there. So when people go into pennies, their partners can stand out here. So you see, it's interesting. So there's the tree with the eyes. It's pretty cool. Okay, there's a trespass store right there. Crossed by right beside Regatta. So two outdoor shops right beside here, so it's convenient. Sketchers, Papa John Supermax right there. Let's go take a look up here. There's a nice big mural on the wall. I'll show you that. I've seen a lot of murals around, eh? I know when I was in the in Escorty, they had a few up there. It's a way to decorate the city. Even Wexford had one when we did the fight, if you remember seeing that one. There it is, look. Very nice. Right there, Powers Whiskey. Black Rock Cafe. EBS for mortgages. Here's another sculpture of some sort. Hello! How are you? Fine weather, eh? <laughs> this is a sculpture. Sort of, some sort of copper bronze. There's an old shopping center. No breeze. Gino's Gelato. They probably won't do too well today. Can't see too many people wanting ice cream. Done stores. Deals. Deals is like a discount store. Like everything used to be under one, one euro fifty. It's creeping up there now. Everything's creeping up because of the, the war in uh, Ukraine. Prices are going skyrocketing. Liberty, it's another charity shop. Hi, how are you? Shoe Boston Donuts. I wonder if they come from Boston. I doubt that. Phone land there. This is a. Uh, I don't know what that is. There's a bakery. St. Vincent de Paul. It's another charity shop. It's another bakery. See, they have all sorts of. These, those are big pieces of pastry. Feelings Pharmacy. No connection to myself. I think this is coming to the end where we had come from the Cork Road. So what I'll be doing is turning left and we'll go across 
left side of it. There's another mural up here. We'll take a look at the mural. Kasbar. Here he is. Restaurant bar. Market bar. Amigo. Burza. At the Apple Market. That is Apache's tattoo. Yeah, we'll take a look at what this, uh, this mural is. And then we'll cut across and head back. This is exactly. It's a artistic mural. It doesn't, it's not as decorative as the other ones. Very neat. By the revolution. Still recording? Yep. Yeah. Oh, there's an arm mural. Wow, it's good we went this way. We would have missed that. It's really neat. It's very nice, eh? It's funny. Well done. Would have missed that. It's always good to cross back on your paths. You can always see something you missed the first time around. Well, get away from that music. Don't want any copyright claims. So hopefully, so we're out of the ear side of it. I think we're allowed a couple of seconds. Wouldn't be it'd be impossible to stay when you're walking into shops and stuff. So I think YouTube gives you a couple of seconds to, you know, either turn off the music or your sound. Something you have to watch, that's all. Oh. Post creations, replicas. Hmm. There's two old Vikings standing guard at the gate. Oh, wait, you see these Viking uh, chairs. There is not that great right now. It really is picking up. It's a nice mural on the building there. So, here's to uh, King and Queen's Rome. And on the air side, there's a mural over there. In front of the whole building. Very nice. And this is a little garden path area. Like I said, the weather. It's more accommodating, you can enjoy your outside, have coffee, see the sights. This is the entrance to the medieval museum. So if you want to come here, you can go to the museum from this place. Cathedral, clothes, retirement apartments. So these are the apartments. Probably used to be where belong to the church. They're now retirement apartments. Here's Christ Church Cathedral. Yeah. There it is. what the prices are. Like I said, I'm not going to go into the museum because a lot of times they don't allow you to film or there's music or playing in the background or reports. Me. But it, I encourage you to go to the museums yourselves when you're here and you go and see it. Here's a chessboard. I think I've seen it before where they actually had chess pieces there play like the big tall ones. The medieval Museum, Cloisters Hall. And there's the tourist information. So that's where you'd go in. And then here's another Marriage of Strong. 
Talbo and Eva. Semicircle or the circle with the uh, shields that were up. Back side of the cathedral here. So, if you want to find out where the uh, museum is and the information office, just look for the cathedral and then that as a marker. several entrances so we'll go inside this part of it walk around and get out of this terrible weather we're having clean off the glasses and the GoPro and then we'll walk around and see what kind of shops there are oh this place fruit vegetables duck hen eggs bedding plants home baking country markets limited hmm. to get out of this uh, terrible weather into some shelter some stores JD Sports Oh Barrett it's a couple of floors there's a full call Oh Okay, I'm well that's better. I feel better anyways. I'm able to clean my glasses. We're inside now. So we'll walk around to see what kind of store it has to offer. We'll go upstairs and see what the food court is. So like I said, there's one entrance there and the entrance we came in is right there. So it's it's not a huge, huge mall, but those stores has the second floor, so food stuff's on the main floor and then the clothing. We'll be upstairs. Take a trip up the escalator. Okay, and there's the downstairs closed part upstairs. And welcome to the food hall. We'll walk around and see what kind of Starbucks pantry. O'Brien's Bagel Factory. So there's where we came in. It shows you another mural on the side outside. So Peter Street. So there's three different entrances to get in here. And here's Logan's Pharmacy. Hallmark Jewelers. So it's a, it's a nice enough mall. It's not huge, super huge, but on a day like today, it's a good place to come and do some shopping and stay out of the weather. Golden discs. And carried on. So, has a bunch of different types of options for you. And then back outside. That was hanging I think I'm going to stay inside for a little bit. Hopefully the, the weather gets a little better. 
So we just changed the batteries and uh, took a break in the mall, um, the Waterford Mall, the City Square, it's called, and just stopped by and had a raspberry drink. It's at the uh, entry. So, just hopefully the rain will stop a little bit because it's a little bit hard right now and I'm getting warm with the uh, wet pads. So. Well, the drink was very good, but I wanted something warm, so I treated myself to a nice soy latte. So I'm gonna enjoy this, and then I should be pretty much dried up, and then we'll head off and go into finish the exploration of uh, Waterford City. Okay, we're gonna head back outside now. However, the weather is not our friend right now. It's absolutely lashing. So I had a juice there and then I also had a uh, um, soy latte. They were all very good. So now we're outside. We're gonna walk a little bit around the town a bit more. See what from the shopping center you have the uh, Omniplex. So if you're in Waterford, you can come see a film. Especially if it's in climate weather like we have today. Right across from the Seagull Bakery reason I came up this road, I saw something like another mural on the side of the building up you know, I figured I'd take a walk and see what we had there. Waterford Comics. Comic book and collectibles. I just thought that's very interesting mural on the side. Oh, look, oh there's a rabbit mural as well. Let me take a walk down this road, see if there's it's a cul-de-sac, cool. So maybe I won't. This looks like a few little homes. And then we'll head back down there. Phone care. CX exchange. So I'm exchange some electronics. Sarah technology. Weather spoons. Hmm, didn't know they had one here. Now, it's a very cheap drinks and food. I'm trying to get one in Wexford, but never panned out. So, this is the downside. Remember, we came up and we had the tree with the, uh, the googly eyes in it, and there's a clock tower at the end. So, we're coming down this side of the street. We're going to veer off to the left and see what we have. So, we have the Supermax again. Followed by the books, book center. Olive Cafe, the gadget man. GL Ryan Jewelers. Purple Lotus. Like I said, here's the coffee book. Heroes. Just the clothing store. Lifestyle Sports. Door. There's the McDonald's that we've seen on the way when we're coming up. Finn's Butchers. Italian Bakery. Stable Yard. Argos. Strand Travel. I'm surprised they're still around those. A lot of people do it themselves now. You know, with the online and the apps and all that. <clears throat> oh, let's go up here. St. Patrick's Church. Let's see what we have up here. Now, what obviously jumped in me is that colorful statue of Jesus. So, take a look at this little alleyway, see what we find. on the side of the wall. There's St. Patrick. The patron saint of Ireland. St. Patrick's Christian Brothers School, founded 1818. 
a good thing they had that colored statue of Jesus. I would have walked by and not even seen it. So there you see the archway with the metalworks around St. St. Patrick's. Hmm. There's feeling shoes. Wonder if I get a discount. A family discount or something. <laughs> Bright home, kitchenware. Here's shopping court center. Let's take a look in there. See what you see in there. Yeah, so it is still wet outside. Like I said, it's uh it's after 12. They said it was gonna stop raining in the afternoon. Hopefully. Full of beans. So long. George's Court Salon. Cobblers. So if you need to get your shoes repaired, there's your man. Look at that. Fixing his shoes. And then your man making keys. That's pretty fun. And then let's go back out and it's Fitzgerald's. And here's the Stable Yard Deli. Alright. And then Boots Pharmacy. Very interesting. And then a sweet shop. Well, it's closed right now. It's tiny and it goes into a court. Let's go outside and see where this leads to. And here, Carter's Chocolate Cafe. So that's where you go in and sit. I know. Okay, this is opposite the uh, church that we see, and there's pennies there, and there's the clock tower. Okay, so we'll go back this way. Mediterranean food store, that's what it is. They have some specialty items in there. There's the cobbles. So this is George's Street Court. Shopping. Little place. And there's feeling shoes again. Well, they have some nice hiking shoes there. They have music in the background, so just stay away from that. You don't want to get any copyright claims. So the bright home gifts. Very flashy there. Evolution, Guinness. Family loves Guinness. I particularly don't really, not really fond of it, but the arches, coffee, virgin, There's an old building getting renovated, Alex Fam, music center. If you want to get some musical instruments, that's where their ski hates doing. They're doing up some old punk style. I'd say it'll be nice once it's all done. Subways, Shaw's, they have one in Wexford. It's a very good store. Bell Pepper, I think they're not open. The Port of Waterford Company, that's a nice building. Your man putting the post in the door. And here's the key again, so you can get your bearings. Here's a nice old building right here. It's not, looks like it's being worked on. Very nice old building. Okay, Waterford Gallery of Art. So, if you want to come see some art, that's where you go. There's another mural on the wall in front of us. Here's the Carter Lane Theater. Interesting. Asian cuisine. 
and CBI or in Charlie's shop. Thomas Marr, pub. Soup Delma, little sports store. Right across this way, there's a mural of, looks like a football player. Welcome to Phoenix Yard, Street Food March. And they have the mural on the sides. Okay, that looks really neat. Wow. Very interesting. Like you said, the general office is the one. That's another interesting store. And there's the mural that we've seen. And then the original Thai massage. Cross over and see this Phoenix Yard. See what it has to offer. It's open seven days a week, Monday to Sunday, 12 to 10 p.m. Very interesting. We have a plant power area. So, burritos, tacos, nachos, taco chips, drinks, everything. And it's not far from the key. You want to find it? There's the mural right here. There's the key. So just come up this lane, turn to your left, and then you'll see right there. Very interesting. There's a little building still. Neil Murphy Photography. It's an old building. John Murphy Oxford. It's a cafe now. Very windy, so I don't know if you can hear me uh, well or it's have the wind protector uh, reducers on so it should help and then a fun fair so that's like a little slot machine casino and then like here I, I'm walk, walking on the wrong side of this I'm gonna cross the road I want to show you the mural see there's another mural on the side of this floral pattern there's another one up ahead. So there's a lot of murals around. We're trying to decorate the, uh, the city. I'm a big fan with murals. Of course, they're big up in the north. Maybe one time I'll go up to Belfast. Let me know in the comments if you want me to walk around Belfast. See what it has to offer. My mom's originally from there, so I do have some acquaintances and friends and family up there. So. It might be interesting. Asian Family Market. Oh, there's, there's a nice girl. Look at that. That's probably the best. Very nice. There's an Asian Market. I am. I love Asian markets. If you watch the Wexford uh, vlog, you see me going into the Asia Selects place. I go there all the time. I love the place. There's some murals up there too. See, they're all over the place. It's a Polish restaurant, uh, grocery store, tattoo parlor. Very nice looking, actually. Veterinary clinic. It's to be closed. Michelina's nail bar. Pet paradise. On the top of the hill. Spirit, Leisure, Center, and Spa. I think we're coming to the, the end of the city park from as long as the key is. Jack's T's Snooker Club. Yes. 
term to enter picture. Hmm. WWETV. And then we'll cut off to the right and we'll come down and see what we can see along the key. Heading back to the place where we started. Street. Look at Bar. Okay. I think it's open, is it? Oh, look at this. This is a lovely uh, mural on the side of the hotel. Yeah. Fitz Wilkie. Very well done. Bridge Street. So this is actually the Bridge Street. We'll cross over here. something painted on that rock face against the hill but it doesn't seem to be it's just yellow and black I don't know if that's symbolic of anything but there's usually someone paints some sort of thing that's relevant to the times I don't see it there so this is Timber Toes Bar that's the back part of where we saw the O'Connell bar that we closed so this is the front face of it So this is the key, it runs all the way along till we get to uh, the Tower Hotel, which is where we started, you know, where it had the, the statue and the uh, and around the castle. Regis uh, Tower. So here's a few little public houses along the way. The Anchor's Guest House. No big consumers. Spirit Desert Center and Spa. Is that? We saw it from the back street side. We have all this under construction right now. There's the bus station. So if you want to see it in there. That's where you'd get off if you were taking um, bus error. Uh, Wexford bus is uh, when it runs out of Strecker. It's a private company. It runs out of Wexford. And I believe they stop at a different place down a little bit further. When you come into, uh, into Waterford from like the Ross side, you be coming on the other side of the water and taking that bridge to come around. Seaside cover. A lot of places say it's close. This looks nice up there. There's a few murals mural, on the buildings in front. And there's that one we saw. Really nice. Nicely done. He like said, big fan of murals. I think they always add some color to the cities and the towns. I think if you have a big old blank wall, get an artist to draw something relevant to the town or village or city, I think it adds some character. There's the bus station itself, Bus Aaron. Goa, Indian restaurant. 
big fan of Indian food. See what kind of prices. Prices look affordable. They're like six, seven euros. And the mains, 15, 16. Yeah, so it's not too bad. Let me open some. This is part of the architecture. Nice little building on the key. Students going in after getting their coffee. You see, obviously it's, the weather doesn't do, help us enough, but you can see how nice and picturesque it would be on a good day. So, Waterford's a nice little city. You know, it's not a big, big city, but it has a lot to offer. And it's like only a 45 minute drive from Wexford Town. Um, there's bus routes into it and a train as well. So there's plenty of options around for you. There's a central store. What's going on? Four hours. And then the store. Convenience. So this is like a pawn shop, I guess. Spice World. I'm not here doing shopping, so I don't need to go in there. I have my place in Wexford that I do all my spices. But if you're in Waterford and you need some Tikka masala, curry. Come in there and get it. So we'll go up to the Granville Hotel, which is the clock tower, and then we'll cut across and. That will be the, uh, the tour of uh, Waterford and then I'll make my way back towards the bus station and catch the bus back to Wexford Town. So thank you for joining me. Remember to uh, subscribe to my channel. It really helps build it and helps the algorithm so it gets my videos out there. Make sure you like it and, subscribe. and don't forget to comment and hit the bell button to uh, get alerted for when my videos get uploaded so thanks for joining me again and until the next time stay tuned in the memory of all those who fought for Irish freedom this is a statue of Jesus when I was walking back towards to get the bus it just popped up so I figured I'd turn it on Oh,